Hi, my name's Sheridan Rogers. I have the immense privilege of leading Activate Faith Community. That means I oversee a bunch of churches throughout New Zealand and in India. We also are involved in the health sector, the education sector, and the social services, social justice sectors with over 200 staff in New Zealand. Today's question is how to keep the main thing, the main thing, when everything has changed. When I left school, I did a trade as an automotive body repair technician, and it was a disaster early on. I was terrible at it. I just couldn't get it. I didn't really have the natural uh, skill around it, and I really struggled. However, as time went on, I got very good at my trade. The ironic thing with it all is even to this day, I use the skills, uh, then the principles that I learned most days in my leadership journey. So number one, identify the main thing. How can you keep the main thing the main thing if you don't identify the main thing or if you don't know what your main thing is? Your vision and your mission must be crystal clear in order to keep the main thing the main thing. With a car, our, our mission was clear. It was to return it to factory specifications. That's what it was. Sometimes it was a big job. Sometimes it was a small job, but the role that I had was very clear, return it to factory specifications. You must know what you're trying to achieve. You must know your vision clearly, your mission clearly, in order to assess where you are. Clearly identify your anchor points. Your anchor points are points that don't change. They are your values. They are your, which set your culture. They don't change. It doesn't matter what's happening. Your anchor points don't change. Your values remain the same. You've got to know what your values are. You need to clarify them, make sure they're incredibly clear for everybody to follow because it's those anchor points that are let you assess and then make adjustments to the organization, yet hold it in shape. With a vehicle, you tie it down by the anchor points. It gives you the ability then to be able to pull and push all over the vehicle without distorting its integrity or its strength. Anchor points don't change and to identify your anchor points when everything has changed is absolutely crucial. Now, sometimes things have changed to the point where the vision or the mission are no longer relevant. That's another story for another day. We call that a wreck, and uh, we could address that on another day. But when it's repairable, we need to have our anchor points in place so things can't move, and then we can make adjustments with confidence. The results of not anchoring or not being anchored not knowing your anchor points, your values, are that in the process of trying to repair or bring things back to the vision, the mission, you will actually inflict more damage. You will weaken the integrity overall. Possibly you'll turn it into a complete liability. Did you know it's possible with a vehicle that I can make it shiny, I can make it look something like it should look, yet it is out of square, it is weak, it is damaged, it's a liability and it's just dangerous. No one should go in that vehicle. If you don't have anchor points, you can do exactly the same thing in your life or your organization. How do I keep the main thing, the main thing when everything's changed? Identify vision and mission. Make sure they're clear. Identify your anchor points, your values. Make sure they're clear and they're reinforced. You know exactly what they are and then hold on to them firmly. The beauty of anchor points is even if one or two of them are slightly damaged on a vehicle, I can secure it still while I repair those points before I repair the rest of the vehicle or the organization in this case. The leadership tool is anchor points. Who's this for? Everybody. Because at some point we all deal with unplanned change. I can apply this tool to myself, to my family, to my organization, to my business, to my church. It's applicable everywhere. This is a must have tool for your leadership toolbox. In the Bible, the book of Matthew talks about building on the rock. We know the rock is Jesus and building on his teachings. That rock is an anchor point. It doesn't shift. It is there. It's solid. You can build on it. You can change things around it, but the point doesn't change. In Exodus chapter 25, it talks about a build, a building according to the pattern or to the plan. Again, the pattern, the plan has anchor points so that you can build according to the vision, according to the mission, what you've been called to do. Friends, the tool today is Anchor Points. Blessings.